Okay, CX500 tensioner chain repair. Ah. Got the helicoil kit and drilled a quarter inch hole in the tensioner where the tensioner bolt goes, goes in. Quarter inch hole. Um, you can get, if you buy the whole kit, uh, uh, it's an M, M6 by 1 is the thread size for the tensioner bolt. And uh, you need to get an M6, M6 by 1 helicoil uh, kit. So. any aluminum shavings coming out, so I've coated the top in grease. Hopefully I'll ca catch most of them, but I'll be vacuuming it off and blowing it off with air after that. So I'm just going to tap in tapping the new hole for the helicoil insert. Sorry about the headgear. <laughs> what can you do when you're working at night, right? Want all the way they can get. Yeah, that one's not even on it. There we go. until it lightly bottoms and then pull out a tiny bit and then in a bit more and that'll be it. Okay, and out. Brake cleaner to chase out that hole. Oh shit, my brake cleaner empty. Shit. <laughs> One second. I want to floss the grease and all the uh, aluminum chips out of that hole. So the hole's clean for the helicoil. And I'm using a one centimeter insert. Okay, I apologize for that. I still had the, <laughs> I didn't have my helicoil uh, insert kit on the end of my thread tap because I'm brain dead. <laughs> so basically I'm just going to tap the coil into the hole. The bottom's out. That was a deeper hole than I thought, but anyway. And that's it. I wonder if I can put two in that hole. It's a deep enough hole that I can probably get two in there. I have to snap the tang off of one of them in order to get it in. I've never used one on top of the other before. Hmm. Anyway, I'll give it a try and I'll let you know how it works. But, uh, anyway, that's about it. Pretty damn simple. <laughs>